wickedness of humankind is great. Everything they think and plan is evil. So I will destroy every living creature on Earth. I am sorry I ever made them. first period study hall. And I have a note from Mom. You forged a note from your mom? Relax, will you? It's no big deal. <clears throat> Chris, you left your lunch at home again. I went to school to give it to you, but you were not there. So, I used my GPS to track you here, where you appear to be breaking into the skateboard park before it opens. Uh, Giz, listen, we're kind of busy. Hey, Quan up. You ready? You bet. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, Pierce. <clears throat> huh? Oh, Pierce, uh, you, uh, you know Joy? Oh, hey, this way, Quantum. Let's see what you got. Your skateboards have rockets? <laughs> Those nitro blasters are how my team's gonna win the insane games next week. You think you're tough enough to ride with us? Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> Show them what it takes, Zena. <laughs> we shot this video on a street run last week. Over. Now let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, Chris! Can we talk? <sighs> Excuse us a second. This is very, very dangerous! That's why they're called the Skateboard Maniacs. They're the hottest team in town, and they want me to join before the Insane Games. Why do the words maniac and insane not worry you? Can't you see that this Pierce person is violent? I think he's cute. No! The super book! And Superbook said we would meet a righteous man who walked in fellowship with God. Well, I can tell you one thing. If there is a righteous man left on Earth, he isn't in this town. Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch out! Run! Help! Help! Look out, Joy! I'd like to stay and protect you guys, but yes. do you know where you're going? Anywhere but understand why Superbook would dump us in the middle of a town where everyone was trying to kill each other. Yes, especially if he was trying to introduce us to someone who walked in fellowship with God. Whoa. Guys, I think I found our man. Build an ark from cypress wood and waterproof it with tar, inside and out. What's an ark? My records indicate an ark is described in the Bible as a large boat built by Noah. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. You shall make a window for the ark, and you shall finish it to a cubit from above, 
and set the door of the ark in its side, you shall make it with lower, second, and third decks. Look, I am about to cover the earth with a flood that will destroy every living thing that breathes. Everything on earth will die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall go into the ark. You, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. cause a flood. My guess is your instruments are wrong. <laughs> Come into the ark. <sighs> you and all your household, because I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. You shall take with you seven each of every clean animal, a male and his female, two each of animals that are unclean. Wow, look at all of them. Also seven each of birds of the air, to keep the species alive on the face of all the earth. Whoa, look at that! I hope we have room for all these animals. Yes, and I hope we have rooms big enough for some of these animals. What, what is it? Keep them coming, two by two. Don't fly. Noah, how did things get this violent? I mean, is God really angry with everyone? 
I don't know if angry is the right word, Chris. I think that the Lord is heartbroken. It seems, bit by bit, mankind has turned to evil and violence, and now that is all that remains. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. As for the rest... So, it's about this friend of yours? Pierce. Yeah. I thought I wanted to hang out with him. Be like him. He acts like he doesn't have to follow the rules. Like he and his friends are special, you know? That sounds appealing, doesn't it? Exciting. A little dangerous? Definitely dangerous. 
You know that feeling you have? The feeling that says, I know what I'm doing is wrong. Yeah? Eventually, you stop listening to that voice. You make a wrong choice here, a selfish decision there, like your friend. And like those people out there. They didn't care. And before long, they stopped living the life that God wants for them. So, finally, they lost everything. Am I like them? Is it too late for me? No, Chris. You're still asking that question. God does not abandon those who try to live for him. of nothing but rain. And animals. <laughs> then God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the rain from heaven was restrained. Then exactly five months from the time the flood began, the boat came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Two and a half months later, as the waters continued to go down, other mountain peaks became visible. After another 40 days, Noah opened the window he had made in the boat and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the floodwaters on the earth had dried up. He also released a dove to see if the water had receded and it could find dry ground. But the dove could find no place to land because the water still covered the ground. So it returned to the boat and Noah held out his hand and drew the dove back inside. Stop squirming or this is never going to fit. Yes? <laughs> what on earth are you doing? Uh, Chris, Joy, <laughs> I have got to get off this boat. Do you know what the problem is with all the birds Noah has been sending out looking for land? They don't find any? Precisely, because Noah is sending them out without the proper equipment. Well, no more. I have equipped this bird with a heads-up display infrared mapping system Laser sight, solar powered thermal heat retainer, six weeks of food, and an umbrella. Why, with this state of the art reconnaissance package, he will find land in no time! <laughs> and a parachute. Never mind the bird act, Gizmo. Besides, Noah's already sent the dove out again. I think he's got it under control. Two months passed, and at last, the earth was dry. Go out of the ark, you and your wife, and your sons, and your sons' wives with you. Release all the animals, the birds, 
the livestock, and the small animals that scurry along the ground so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. I have placed my rainbow in the clouds. It is the sign of my covenant with you and with all the earth. I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. Superbook! All right! No more ocean cruises for me! So, you gonna do this or not? Um... Not. What? You heard me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for school. Me too. I do not go to school. But I am late for, like, a lot of other stuff. Don't you worry. Oh, I got things to do. You bet. And they do not include you or your... Whoa! Okay, go! But don't come crawling back, Quantum, because the skateboard maniacs don't give second chances. What did I ever see in him? He's not as cool as he thinks he is. Yeah. You do realize we're gonna get detention for cutting class. It could be worse. We've seen how things can get really bad. But God can make all things new again.